If you owned a small toy store, how often would you track your inventory? Would you update your journal every time you made a sale, even if you made several sales per day? Or would you wait and count your sales at the end of the week? One method would likely be more efficient for you than the other. Now imagine that your toy store expanded into a large national chain. Would that affect how you update your inventory? Let's take a look at how businesses make this choice. There are two main methods of inventory management, periodic and perpetual. In a periodic system, you update your inventory levels at specific times, such as daily, weekly, or monthly. In a perpetual system, you update your inventory system after each and every transaction. You may be asking yourself why there are two different methods of inventory management. Well, there are actually two different answers. One, the inventory system you use depends on your business's type of inventory, the volume of inventory sold, and the volume of inventory on hand. Your small toy store has a very different volume than a national chain, so it may require a different inventory system. Two, all businesses use their inventory system to calculate their cost of goods sold but some businesses need an updated figure on hand at all times, while others don't. How often your business needs access to that info will affect which inventory system you'll use. Let's talk more about cost of goods sold. This is an accounting equation that measures the cost of the merchandise that an organization has sold within a specific time period. You first determine the cost of the merchandise you started with, Add anything you purchased and subtract the cost of what you currently have. The resulting figure is the cost of the goods sold. If a company starts with $5 million in inventory, makes $2 million in purchases, and ends with $4 million in inventory, the company's cost of goods sold would be $3 million. In a periodic system, the cost of goods sold is calculated only when actual physical inventory counts are conducted such as daily, weekly, or monthly. All purchases or sales of inventory that are made between physical counts are recorded in purchase accounts. So let's say Johnson Trading Company updated their inventory system last week. At that time, they had an inventory balance of $20,000. During the week, they paid $25,000 for new purchases. This week, they updated their inventory system again and they currently have $11,000 of inventory. What was their cost of goods sold for the week? Let's plug in the numbers. $20,000 of beginning inventory plus $25,000 of purchases minus $11,000 of ending inventory equals $34,000 for cost of goods sold that week. Now let's examine cost of goods sold using the perpetual inventory system. In a perpetual system, all inventory additions and subtractions are immediately accounted for and can be measured at any time without a physical inventory count. This is because each inventory item is electronically tracked, usually with a barcode, so there's no need to wait a day or a week or more between updates. Since the most recent balance is always available, the cost of goods sold is calculated and recorded in the accounting journal on a constant basis. If Johnson Trading Company set up a perpetual inventory system, it would generate journal entries such as these. You can see that their cost of goods sold currently stands at $35,000. But as soon as the next transaction occurs, the system will automatically update. This is a powerful tool because it allows you to maximize the efficiency with which you organize inventory purchases and it ultimately allows you to keep lower physical inventory on hand. When you devote less space to inventory, you can spend less on rent or you can devote more space to something more useful. This could be a huge advantage for some businesses. So why doesn't everyone do this? The answer is that the cost of the system can be very high and many small businesses don't really need up-to-the-minute calculations. Small businesses also typically have pretty low inventory, so for them, 
the periodic system can be extremely cost effective because it doesn't require bar scanners, electronic codes, or technological management. Let's review the pros and cons of both systems. A periodic inventory system requires a physical count to be done daily, weekly, monthly, or even quarterly or annual intervals. A perpetual system uses software to automatically count and track inventory debits and accounts payable credits on a daily basis. A perpetual system also subtracts sales from on-hand inventory and records them in the general ledger immediately, while a periodic system does not. A periodic system is most efficient for businesses with small inventory balances, while a perpetual system is most efficient for large inventory balances. A perpetual system is more expensive, but it provides more accurate data, allows for more inventory control, and can help businesses increase their profit margins. Great work! You now know the concepts of inventory reporting systems and their advantages and disadvantages. In accounting, perpetual and periodic inventory systems will impact the creation of accurate financial reports and costs associated with maintaining inventories.